Hi everyone, good evening, or shall I say good night, <laughs> welcome back. So I'm doing this video impromptu, because I feel like I have to, number one. I have to do this video. Like some things just need to be said, and what better person to say them than myself? I have to, I have to say this. First of all, how y'all doing, by the way? How are y'all doing? So, I'm making this video in response to an observation that I've made. <laughs> With men. And... This isn't a new topic, right? Like, this is something that I feel like we have talked about for centuries, right? This is nothing new. The whole idea of does size matter? And when I say size, <laughs> we know what we're talking about, right? Size. Does penis size matter? And, of course, I'm going to speak, as I always do, from a woman's perspective, right? So... Of course, my opinion may be a bit biased, and I'm going to be as honest as possible here in this video as I always am, because I feel like honesty is the best policy, and some people just need to know. And I know that this video is not going to sit well with some guys, <laughs> especially those guys who are less well endowed, right? I get it. It makes sense. You're going to feel triggered. You're going to get annoyed. You're going to be offended. Just, I get it. And maybe this video isn't for you. <laughs> maybe you can't handle the truth, right? Because my videos, like I gave it to people raw, uncut, obviously. And I just have to speak the truth on certain things. Like, I feel like men should know this. Men need to hear this truth. Because you got a lot of men... Walking around here with big dick energy, but with small penises. And it's like, yo, you need to calm all the way fucking down, right? And it's always a handful of guys who get offended with this topic because they don't have what it takes. They don't measure up. <laughs> Literally, they just don't measure up. And so, of course, like I've heard it all. Of course, they come to their own defense and say, oh, women just have, <laughs> women have loosey gooseys or women, women like that, women who say that penis size matters, just have loose pussies and, you know, it makes sense that they want a big dick to fit into, inside that big ass pussy. What? No, this ain't got shit to do with bigger little pussies. This has everything to do with satisfaction, sexual satisfaction and penetration. And it does make a difference the size of a man's penis, point blank, period. Like, I think this is a thing because a lot of women are afraid to get their needs met. And I made a post on Facebook where I was talking about a date that I had went on a year ago from now, right? From this month. It was last year, around this same time. Where I got flew out from Los Angeles. And I met up with one of my African friends. Really cool guy. Like, don't get me wrong. Nice guy. He's from Ivory Coast. You know, really no complaints other than certain things that it's just I didn't mesh well. But a bigger thing I would say that was... <laughs> That really annoyed me was just that the sex wasn't good. It just wasn't good. And when I commented on this, because I, I reshared the post. You know how like Facebook will show you like, you know, Facebook memories. And sometimes I go down memory lane. And I revisited that post that I made last year in response to this date. <laughs> this like thousand dollar date. It was a very expensive date. And I had fun. Like, the guy, like I say, cool guy, right? He's a business owner, entrepreneur, you know, 
got his head on straight. All of that good stuff, right? But somebody commented because I, I had said like, you know, and I said, you know, he was, he was cool, but he just didn't measure up in a bed. This is what I said, right? On the post. And then a woman comments and is like, she's in shock. She's like, oh, he had all of that and you let him go just because of sex? And I'm like, seriously? She was like, oh, you couldn't have worked that out? Like, she was like, you know they offer sex classes or workshops for that. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse? Like, so I'm supposed to settle? Like, no. I think everybody is entitled to get what they want, right? And for me, brains matter, right? Wallet size matters. But I wouldn't say not to a big extent, but it is significant. It's one of the... The top factors, right? I made a video on this when I was living back in LA a while back about brain size, wallet size, and of course, penis size. All three matter, right? So why do I have to sell myself short? Because she's feeling sympathy for this guy. And she's like, dang, that's fucked up. I'm like, honestly, I did not feel any sympathy. Why should I? Like, who has sympathy for me? <laughs> why should I feel sympathy? Because a guy just got measure up sexually. No, every woman deserves to be pleased how she wants to be pleased. Why is it that women have to settle? Why is it, first of all, that women have to mute their sexual interests? It's almost as if, like, it doesn't matter. Like, a woman's sex life doesn't matter. No, it matters. A woman should be gratified sexually. I'm not about to sit up here and pretend that I like a guy and pretend that, oh... I'm head over heels, and he's just swindled me under his wing. When that's not even the case. And I, yes, thick dick size matters because I'm a spiritual person. I think sex is a spiritual act. And we're talking about two souls connecting here, right? So, if I'm lying in bed with a guy... And we get to that point, because a lot of guys, we don't just, they don't make it to that point, right? But if you at that point, this is, I gotta take a sip on this real quick, yo. Because it just, it irks me. Like, I'm like, I know I'm not the only woman who thinks like this. So don't shame me. Don't blame me or criticize me just for being vocal about it. Because a lot of women just won't be vocal about it. But I'm like... If we get to the point, like you made it to the point, yo, <laughs> where you are in a bed with a woman, this is your chance. Don't fuck, and this is just one aspect, of course. Like, I feel like this applies generally to the entire relationship, right? So if a woman gives you her phone number and you make it to the point where it's like you are in a woman's presence, like, yo, that's your time to shine all the way around. But we're talking about the bedroom here, specifically in this post in this video guys you made it to the bedroom right with this woman it's your time bruh it's your time to shine it's not your time to be fucking up and coming in 60 seconds and i get it sometimes you know how soon a man comes is beyond his control I get it. You can't control it. It comes out, it just comes out. Right? I think some guys just aren't really experienced sexually too. So they don't know how to control it. And some guys, they know. They know it's a mind thing. How to control that orgasm. I refuse. I don't know about other women. And please comment. Like, let, let, let your opinion be heard here. I don't know about other women. But for myself, nah, man. You ain't about to get me undressed. <laughs> we in each other's presence. We in bed. Just for some 60 second shit. Or some whack ass fucking penis. Some wop. Whack ass penis. Like, no. Somebody, there's a woman like you. 
Like, seriously, Bernice, you feel me, yo? Like, come on, women, we got to stand up. Like, come on, what is you doing? It ain't nothing more frustrating than that to me in my book. Like, I'm willing to put up with a lot of shit. But, yo, whack-ass penis, like, nah, bro. And I feel like it ain't no comeback for that. It ain't no comeback for no whack-ass penis. And this is the thing. You have guys with whack-ass penis with WAP. They're humble about it, right? And they know. They know, like, they don't measure up. They know they ain't really that good in bed, you know. They just, you know, trying to get their rocks off. Okay, boom, boom, ba, right? Okay, I might have a little bit more respect for those kind of guys. But then you got the guys that be walking around with big dick energy. Like, they swear up and down. They the shit. Like, they swear up and down. Like, they guys give to every woman. And then, <laughs> when it comes to the bed, yo, you coming in fucking 60 seconds. You a complete disappointment. It's just like, if a guy walks around with big dick energy and he deliver, all right. Salute. <laughs> Salute to you. I have much respect. Like, I ain't got nothing to complain about. You know what I'm saying? Because you deliver. But, come on. It's like, seriously? It's a connection. And people want to think that, oh, it's hypersexual. Like, oh, it's just, you know, you're so focused on the sex. Yo, sex is spiritual for me. Like, that's communication. And if you ain't, like, come on. If you falling short in that department, like, some, like come on. I can't even feel you. How can I feel you? Now, granted, right sex for me starts in the mind. It's psychological. So, before I even get to that point where my clothes are off, like, he got to give my mind. So, I just made a post where I said, like, I've been on an eighth month sex fast. Eight months. <laughs> no sex. And I feel great. Like, it does a mind, body, and soul good. And it's a reason for that because, like I said, I keep saying this. Sex is spiritual for me, so I have to have that, like, psychological, spiritual connection with the guy. Like, we got to be connecting, right? But I feel like that's great to connect on that level, but it's just, like, it's a disappointment if we connect on a spiritual and emotional level, right? And we vibe and we talking about black consciousness. We talking about frequency. Like, I feel his frequency. We feel each other vibrations. And then, boom, we come down to the moment get intimate right we feel each other and you know some guys can be good with the intimate the physical intimacy part in terms of they know how to touch you right they know where to kiss you at they know how to hold you and you your body is just weak you're just like oh my gosh like you ready yo you ready and then the clothes come off and then you slide it in You want to cry? She's like, <laughs> like yo, I will, I will completely block a dude. I for real, like I hate to say it, but this is just me being one hundred. Like I'm turned off. Like it ain't nothing after that point. <laughs> you got my cheeks hurt. Yo, Stacey, you feel me? It's just like it may it hurt. It breaks my heart, yo. And it's like, damn, are all the big dick niggas taken? Like, you know what I'm saying? Must be. Because what's going on? Like, seriously, what is going on, yo? And you can, like, sometimes you can tell, though, before a man, like, before you even get to that point where you're in the bed, and this is for grown folk. This is a whole grown folk conversation because I know some people can't handle this. So, like, my, a lot of my videos are just straight for grown folks. But it's just like, I think some guys know. They know. And you can tell sometimes, too. You can tell, like, nah, he ain't working with too much on it. Because they overcompensate. And that was the issue with the guy who flew me out from L.A. a year ago, right? Same time around December, this time, last year. Because I spent the Christmas and the New Year holiday with him. And, yo, like, he, when I say when I allow, like, dinner reservations at, like, the top-notch restaurant in New York City and Times Square. Like, I'm like, yo, how much this cost, you know? But it made sense when it came down to that part to get, like, intimate. Like, it made sense. Like, yo, okay, because they overcompensate. Like, I thought he was doing too much. And ain't nothing wrong with nice things. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, like, a first date. And even a guy commented, he was like, what guy spends $1,000 on a first date? I mean, of course, unless you, you know what I'm saying, you're in a higher tax bracket, which he is. 
but not that high like you know what i'm saying like not that high where it's like oh it's just pennies like to him you know what i'm saying like thousands of dollars is not really necessarily pennies to him so it's all relative i would say i mean he got good income but i still feel it was just come on bro so you could tell he was overcompensating and it's just, it's just whack whack ass penis that wop you know what i'm saying it's that straight wop and it's just like come on what is you do? like disappointment for me like i'm an empath so i feel bad i don't like like make people feel bad so i can be like vocal here on videos and express my opinion but i can do that with a guy like if he can handle it i can tell you can gauge to see if you know can a guy handle the truth a lot of guys they can't handle the truth because you know they're wrapping their ego it's an ego thing and they get weak you know what i'm saying i get it Right, so I'm not the one to be telling the guy, you know, your shit whack, yo. Like, nah, I'm not, you know, I'm not pleased, you know. And, like, the lady commented on my videos, like, oh, you can work through that. You can get the workshops, you know. Fuck a workshop. That, like, a workshop? <laughs> you gotta go to a workshop to learn how to fuck. <laughs> like, I feel like, you know what, I don't blame women. And this is just, this is the truth. But you got women that just like hood niggas you know, excuse my language but i gotta keep it real this is the language that my people understand like like, like hood niggas out of jail fresh out of jail them niggas can fuck you know what i'm saying you ain't gotta teach them you gotta go to no sex ed class and they know how they know how to lay that shit down you know what i'm saying and that's that vibration you know what i'm saying that's like a spiritual connection you you know like dancing is a spiritual a spiritual thing right it's a vibration it's hard to even put it into words. So it's not about, oh, you just a freak or you this and you that. No, this is a sexual, this is a spiritual thing. And when a man can do that, connect with the woman on that level, like his, his, his organ, his sex organ is communicating with a woman's sex organ in a very special way. And it like, it leaves an imprint on her DNA, yo. That shit like vibrate through her whole entire being. It's like he owns her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the big dick energy. That's the that's the kind of sex that a woman want. Not some little dick ass energy. It's like, what is we doing? You know? And it ain't, like I said at the beginning of this video, it ain't got nothing to do with, oh, a woman got a loose ass pussy. Yo, no. Women tight pussies. It makes a difference. A woman want to be able to feel him. And it's how he moving. And if he come quick, that shit whack. A lot of dudes got um, impotence issues. You know what I'm saying? They did go limp. It's like, what is you doing? And you got guys. I know a lot of guys gonna come on this video and be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's because a woman. It's a woman's fault why the man did go limp. You know, if, if, if she was doing it right or she, whatever, whatever. Like, it wouldn't go limp. Nah, bruh. A lot of times it's because a lot of things is 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 stress can make can cause impotence issues, sexual or erectile dysfunction disorder. Stress is alcohol, drugs, age. You know, it's a lot of stuff. His medical conditions can cause it. He's just not healthy. You know what I'm saying? So that does matter. Like men, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and yes it can be you know whether or not he's attracted but yo if you ain't attracted to a woman why the fuck is you in a bed with her but i feel like that's not the case because if a dude dick get hard like dude dick strand standing straight up right you stand it straight up and then you come quick like you can't blame the woman because you came quick <laughs> you can't say oh well if she gave me she sucked my dick right you're you gonna come quick either way it ain't got nothing to do with, oh, how well she suck your dick or she's wearing lingerie or she look a certain kind of way. That's all you. That's all on you, bro. Take responsibility for your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. I feel like women, we sell ourselves short because you don't have to be with no little dick ass motherfucking man. Like, get what you deserve and inspect these dudes. You know what I'm saying? Like, before you even... Dudes be talking about, oh, test drive. No, ain't no, no test drive. How about, <laughs> how about you, we inspect? How about we make a dude disrobe? Take off your clothes. Let me see what you're working with. Let me see you get hard first before we even get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, you ain't standing up at a 90 degree angle and you can't maintain that erection, like, I ain't about to sit here and waste my time with you. 
I refuse. Like, come on, life is already stressful. We're dealing with COVID. Who got time to sit up here and add a whole nother stressor to your life and be sexually frustrated on top of that? You might as well not even have sex. I'm good as I am. Like I say, eight months in. Abstinent. I'm good. But what would really what, what would fuck it up is for me to sit up here and fall for a guy that walking around here with big dick. He looking like he got a big dick. He walk around here with big dick energy and I fuck around to fall for the shit. And up in the bed and get disappointed. You talking about some frustration? Like, come on, what is you doing? And you got do you got people that want to sit up here and make jokes about uh, women who choose to sleep with younger men or date younger men. I'm t when I say younger, I'm talking about like in their twenties. Like when you know they knocking, <laughs> you know the motherfuckers can knock the walls out. You know what I'm saying? Because they they got that they got that energy. They got that that youth. You know what I'm saying? And they coming with. They got that energy. Sometimes as men get up in age, like they be slacking. You like, what are you doing? I get it. Age does is a big factor. I understand that. You know, people have medical conditions and stuff that can get in the way. And but it's just like, come on, man. Like, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if you gotta go back and get you a 25 year old man just to hit it right, you know. 29 year old, I feel like you ain't really gotta go young. It's really about the health, and we associate health with youth. But sometimes that ain't always the case because you got them young guys, they be having impotence issues too, sometimes too. You know, they be on them freaking pill, mollies, and pills and stuff like that, and it just it mess up the whole flow. And then you got older men that take really good care of themselves, be eating vitamins, eating healthy, vegan, they work out, you know, they can last long, they, they good. But it just bothers me because I feel like when we talk about the subject of does size matter and what really motivated this video is like I said, like my observation and also just like talking to men. I have male friends and hearing them, you know, going through their relationship problems and like, oh, she loved, she cheated on me. Like, I like, you know, and I feel maybe feeling back like, damn, she cheated on you, bro. Like, damn. You know, like, damn, she took your baby from you. Like, damn, you know. But it did make it seem like, oh, she's just a double. They just such a victim. But it's always two sides to the story. And if you were to talk to that woman, I want to hear what she got to say. Like, what? There's a reason why a woman leave a good situation. Because the way they playing, like, oh, you know, I took care of her. I did everything for her. I roof over her head. I fed her. She ain't have to work. I, like, come on. What woman got all of that set up? Roof of bills paid, you know what I'm saying? All of this set up. What woman in her right mind gonna leave that situation and <laughs> go somewhere else, right? It's a reason why. And the only thing I can think of, yo, okay, either the motherfucker abusive. We gotta do process of elimination. Abusive. Or he just ain't laying it down. And that can be a form of abuse. That's psychological abuse. If a motherfucker falls short in the bed, that's psychological abuse. You talking about frustration? Yo, what person deserves that? And some women stay in that kind of relationship, dynamic relationship for years. They be there just sticking it out, you know. Just loving them, cooking for them. No one ain't really sexually satisfied. You laying up in the bed, your legs open. He get his off. A man gonna come. That's one thing about a man. A man is gonna get his, but she ain't really. And we know most women, right? Most women take a while to orgasm. It's an art for us, you know. Our bodies are just art, very magnificent, right? You gotta get to know a woman's body. A lot of men don't even take the time to do that, to know how to make his woman come and please his woman. And the woman just lay there and. You know, let him get his. That, to me, is psychological abuse. That's self-abuse. That's psychological self to yourself. You're doing that to yourself. You sit up here laying there fucking that man. Ain't getting nothing out the goddamn deal. And then, okay, he get his. And then it's over. And then you've been doing that for years and years and years. And then, okay, eventually she's going to like, you know what? Like, she's craving. She's lacking something. And that relationship, she's craving. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, you're not de delivering correctly. What are you doing? 
And then she goes and find and sneak. And she sneak around and she find her man and her motherfucker. That's the thing about cheating. That'd be the best sex. Right? When when the person cheat, when you cheating, it'd be the best sex. Cause you ain't supposed to be doing it, number one. So anything your ass ain't supposed to be doing gonna feel good as hell. And then somehow when people cheat, the person they choose, it feels whatever is lacking in that relationship. And it just comes out per it's just perfect. <laughs> and this time of day is scary because there's so many diseases and most men and women is not even using protection. That's another thing too. Maybe she ain't in her right mind. A lot of women think they are and aren't. Listen, men don't want to hear the truth. Listen, this is the truth here. And, of course, it goes without saying, yeah, you got to protect yourself and be safe. But, listen, we talking about does size matter. That's the top. Let's stick to the topic, okay, of this video. And it's like, I don't want to be involved with no relationship like that. And they say, oh, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Yes, I can. Or I just, I'm good being single. I'm fine. <laughs> Yes, I do want to procreate. I want kids. But well, that, that's going to come. There's nothing to procreate. There's nothing to make a baby, I feel like, you know. Making a family, that's something special, though. Making a family, but, you know. Now, I don't feel like I should have to settle. And these guys be walking. Like I said, I keep going back to the whole big dick energy thing. Because guys be walking around here. And they, they, they'll trick your ass. And you think you got, like, oh, like, okay. He got to be packing that niggas. He's so you know, confident, but it's a fake confidence. That's what it is. It's fake. It's a fake dominance. Because when they come down in the bedroom, they're like, they ain't even, come on. What are you doing? And to the flip side of that, to answer this question of this video, the topic of this video, does size matter? Of course, because this is how we know. And we've seen it where women become dickmatized. And I've seen this video. Y'all follow this. Um, Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. I follow this tribe. I'm not even going to mention the name. But people who know the tribe, they know they know. And the guy from New York, and he started his own like little tribal nation. And he has multiple wives. And one of his wives recently left him. But she's taken to social media. And of course, you know what people do, right? They, When they go through the breakup, they go and they start blasting the partner and putting all the negative stuff because they hurt, right? But underneath that, like, <laughs> it's really about the dick. Because he's having sex with these multiple women. She really wasn't into polygamy like that. She just did it because she was in love with him. But she really wasn't in a polygamous thing. That's not her thing. And so... That's what led her to leave because she thought he was going to change and he just continued to, you know, be polygamous and have multiple wives and, you know. But the thing is, he's not like out fucking just random women. Like he brings them in and he makes them their wife, his wife, and he's committed to them. You know, they have like a family. Everybody knows each other. You know, they live under one roof. So this organized, this structured, it's not just some random do whatever you want to do kind of polygamous relationship. But she wasn't for it. But she keeps, like, in her video, her rant video, she's bringing up, she kept mentioning, like, oh, you know, he fucking this woman and that woman. And these are women that she's become sister wives with, right? And she's mentioning sex a lot in her video. And it's like, you can tell us about the dick. And you can tell when a woman is digmatized. Like, you can tell when a man has a hold of a woman, right? And I say this to say... That's the answer to the question. You can tell that. Yes, it matters because look. Like you look at women who are getting laid right. You know what I'm saying? They're getting treated right in a bedroom sexually, right? Women appreciate that. They never forget good dick. She will never forget, even though she got a baby from him. Like, yo, she's never going to forget him. You know what I'm saying? Because he has left an imprint on her, her DNA or her mind on her emotions and her memory that it's just going to be there forever. That's what good dick will do. Lame wop 
whack ass penis just ain't gonna cut it. So how can a woman be hooked if he's lacking down there? It's like it does speak to his sense of dominance. If a man wanna walk around and claim that he's dominant and he might be able to pay the bills, that's a form of dominance, right? Being able to lead financially in a relationship. You know, just doing manly things, just typical manly things, right? Being a protector. But I feel like, come on, that's a big piece. The sex is a big piece. And if he's lacking in that department where he can't sexually satisfy her, he can't touch her in that kind of way, then how dominant is he? And that goes along with the same topic of cuckold. I've made a series of cuckold videos that you guys can find on my YouTube page under my playlist, Cuckold. And this is a trending topic. A lot of guys be wanting me to talk about this. White men. And these are white men who are supposed to have a degree of power in our society. But on the same token, are they really dominant? They got to bring in a bull. And the bull, we talk about these bulls. The men that they bring in to fuck their wives, to sexually satisfy their wife, is a black man who represents strength, right? Like, he, he brings it. He brings the dick, the D, to the relationship that he, the white man, is lacking. He can't provide for his wife. So how dominant are you if you have to bring in a supplement, <laughs> A supplement, a supplemental man to fulfill a role that you are really supposed to fill. Like, I know this topic is difficult for people to have, but come on, we need to have it. And you got women that have been married to men for years and they want to, you know, want to spare the man's feelings, don't want to come clean, don't want to have this conversation with their husband and say, you know what, I love you, but you don't satisfy me sexually. To be satisfied, and women know <laughs> what it means to be satisfied sexually. It's like, yo, when a woman is satisfied sexually, she gonna go to sleep. That dick will put her to sleep. Like, rock a baby. Have her dreaming. Have her fiending for more. That's just what good dick does. Right? When a woman is not sex, uh, satisfied sexually, she gonna be up. She probably going to be irritable, frustrated, and wonder why y'all ass always fighting and arguing. That's why. You wonder why. A woman will shut her damn mouth if you just lay it down right. She not got nothing to talk about. She feeling good. It's therapeutic. Let's just keep it real. Good dick is therapeutic, man. Whatever she was dealing with for that day is done. Now, granted, of course, the bills need to be paid because good dick ain't going to just pay the bills, right? Good dick ain't going to solve all the problems. So if you got unpaid bills and shit like that, good dick just might frustrate that situation even more. But I'm just saying all else is satisfied. It's giving all else is satisfied, right, in the household. Like, come on. She felt like she a little stressed from work, got a little tension. That good dick going to cure that. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's just keep it real, right? I think the takeaway is that Men and women need to be honest with themselves. Just keep it real. Just keep it 100. Men be feeling hurt. Men be feeling offended. I already said that at the beginning of this video that this video is going to offend men. Y'all don't want to hear this. Men that got men that can deliver in the bedroom, they know what I'm talking about. Because they know. They know the power that their penis has. And they've seen that power with their own eyes. Their soul has felt that power. Right? So they know. But men that don't, I mean, y'all, of course you're going to feel some kind of way. This video going to make your ass angry. You're going to be boiling on the inside. Y'all going to be the ones that's going to be commenting these long ass essays on my video. And I'm curious, I want you to bring it. Please share your comments below. Please do. And for any of the men that are watching this video that know me personally, that I'm friends with, and you feel like, oh, I'm calling you out. 
I might be calling you out. And this video just might be for you to watch. You might need to sit up here and watch this video carefully and listen carefully to what I'm saying. Because you may ask yourself, well, damn, why? No, I can't keep a woman. That might be why, bruh. But, of course, like the woman suggested, you know, in my comment section on that post that I shared about the date that I had over a year ago. And she suggested, like, oh, you know, there's sex workshops that can be fixed, right? You don't just throw the man away because he's lacking in that department. Like, you ain't telling me nothing. I don't know. But even that, though, and that kind of goes along the lines of BDSM. Because for me, and I'm speaking for myself, I don't know about any other woman. No, it's not just about the sex or penetration. I feel like for me, it starts psychological first. And it's, it's based on a dynamic that's created between a man and a woman. That power exchange. So that, to me, is everything. And there's different activities that I enjoy personally. In the context of BDSM, there are different fetishes, right? Like bondage and spanking and that's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to go too deep. <laughs> I don't want to go too deep. But yes, there are, I know that there are other things that a man can do, you know, to please a woman. If, let's say, he is, you know, falling short in that department, because let's just keep, a lot of men do fall short in that department. A lot of men, first of all, are not well endowed in terms of size. And if, let's say they're average size, right? You ain't got to have a big ass freaking dick to sexually please a woman. You can just, you know, be average or let's say a little bit less than average. But they just still, they get so excited and they really focus, they're really selfish. That's what, that's what it really is. They're, they're so selfish that... They're really in it just to get their own orgasm to ejaculate. And once they, they don't really care. And once they ejaculate, they don't really care if a woman is pleased, you know. And some men think, oh, well, you know, I'll just give a woman oral sex, you know, eat her out. And you got, you can tell when a man ain't packing down there because he's going to spend a lot of time doing that because he got to make up, he got to overcompensate. He got to make up for where he lacking. So he want to sit up there and, you know, eat a woman now. And, like, honestly, for me, that ain't my thing. I don't like, or I don't like receiving oral sex, and let alone, I definitely don't like giving it. But it's other things, you know, that can definitely turn a woman out. I'm, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Yes, 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 I do want to hear what you guys have to say. But I feel like I needed to get that off my chest. I needed to say that because I'm just like, bro, come on. It's a no-brainer. Like, how can men who are married to women like how can you even be mad at her i feel like this is where honesty comes in because people just can't adults we can't be honest with each other no more and if there was a place for honesty in a relationship then you would know if your woman is sexually satisfied but you don't even give her that um space you don't create a space and that's how you know if there is true intimacy, companionship, and loyalty in a marriage, in a relationship. Because uh, your partner will be able to be 100% honest in all departments, in all facets of that relationship. And sex is a big component of a relationship, especially a marriage. And they will be able to tell you, yes, I'm se sexually satisfied, or no, I'm not. And that's, I challenge y'all who are watching this video, ask your partner, do I please you sexually? And you want them to be honest, so you want them to say, you know what, I just want you to be honest with me. Give me your honest opinion. Are you sexually satisfied? Do I sexually satisfy you in this relationship please be honest with me please if there's anything i can do or, or anything now that's the thing because some people like they said they just want to spare their partners but they're gonna say um yeah but come on y'all gotta keep it real with your partner keep it real if you're not 100 percent sexually satisfied let their partner know keep it 100 because that's where the sneakiness comes and a lot of this stuff is going on where your partner is sneaking around because they're not sexually satisfied. So I can respect relationships that 
make it clear. People that make it clear say, you know what? Yes, I'm interested in polygamy. Yes, I'm interested in cuckolding. Yes, I'm interested in an open marriage because I have certain interests. Just keep it 100. You ain't got to sneak. We grown. Why the fuck you need to sneak around? You're a grown ass person. That's what bothers me. People are living life not even happy. Like, why? You don't have to be that way. You can be happy. You can get what you want in life. Get what you deserve. Because I'll be damned. I'll be, I, yo, I'll be damned. But I'm about to go. I'll catch you guys later. Share this video, please.